Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedia again. Today we're going to keep working with the track types that we found we find in Pro Tools. Okay, so we have explained in the past how to create and configure an audio track, an aux input, and then today we're going to be working with the master fader input track. Okay, so think about an old school uh, large format analog vintage console. Okay, you had all those channels and then there was always somewhere within the master section of the console you would have a master fader. The master fader would let you either crank the volume of the overall mix or reduce it if you wanted. Okay, you could also add in uh, well, I guess you wouldn't say plugins, but you you could add hard you could add hardware um, devices into it in order to process the overall mix. Okay, like a compressor, maybe an overall uh, two bus compressor or something like that, maybe an EQ, uh, and that would be affecting the overall mix. Well, you could do the exact same thing in in Pro Tools with the master fader input track. So, how do we do that? Well. Here I have a session where we're going to demonstrate that. It's called Tutorial Master, and we have two tracks, two audio tracks, Guitar 1 and Guitar 2. And in order to create the master fader input, we go to Track, New, and here we're going to select... Uh, it's, going to, it's going to be 1, and we're going to select Master Fader, and we're going to make sure it's set to Stereo. Why? Because this master fader is going to be controlling the overall output of our stereo output. And in this case, it's going to be outputs one and two. So one stereo master fader is going to stay in samples, and we're just going to leave the name as master. We press create, and I'm going to switch to my mix window by going into window mix. And we can see here this master fader, first of all, it has a different um, meter type, and it, it only has the output set. In this case, output analog 1 and 2. This means that this fader here will control the overall output or the overall signal that is coming out of analog 1 and 2. Analog 1 and 2 are the analog outputs of my interface where my monitors are connected. So if I press play and we'll listen to the guitars, um, I can either reduce the volume or I can crank it up if I want to. And we're going to give it a shot. Here we go. Down. Up. So you have the idea there. Um, when you're mixing, this can be very helpful because, uh, as you could see here, you got inserts. And you can ride this fader in order to, you know, automate volumes of your mix and things like that. So that's how you create and configure a master fader input in Pro Tools. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Stay tuned for the next tutorials um, it, for Pro Tools. Thank you very much. We'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Today's Pro Audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your Pro Audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. Obedia member subscriptions are cost effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.